Hey Calvary, my name is Jared and I hope this message finds you well. We are back with another word of the day and the title of this message today is Don't Let the Right Hand Know About the Left. Uh, we'll be reading in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 3 and 4. And these are red letters in our Bible, so we should know that Jesus is speaking here. And it might also be worth noting that uh, this is probably one of the most famous of Jesus' teachings called the Sermon on the Mount. So we'll just be reading verse 3 and 4. So let's get into it. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private and your Father who sees everything will reward you. So in the previous two verses, Jesus is calling out the Pharisees of his day, the hypocrites. They loved to make their good deeds known to everyone because they wanted to be recognized and praised by man. Jesus even says they go as far as to blowing trumpets to get people's attention to their good deeds. I mean, could you imagine seeing something like that today? Imagine seeing a homeless person holding up a sign at the end of a freeway off-ramp or on a street corner. Uh, we've all seen someone that, like that, I'm sure. Uh, imagine seeing a car pull up to that person and they give them some money or some food and after they're, done, uh, after they're done giving, they get out of their car and honk the horn trying to get everybody's attention as to what they just did. Uh, so it appears that this was happening in Jesus' day, but what about today? Uh, I think we could see this play out in other ways we may or may not be aware of. Uh, I don't know about you, but is it just me? Does it seem like when a celebrity or company makes a donation to a charitable cause or an individual, it always seems to make headlines? Celebrities definitely love the world to know when they are charitable. And these celebrities have publicists that are working uh, sometimes around the clock to make sure that they're seen in the best light. It, it's a good look to be charitable and philanthropic. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've found myself guilty of this one. Ha have you ever done a good deed or showed generosity towards someone? Uh, but then spent the rest of the day trying to uh, sneakily insert into conversation uh, your good deeds and what you did for this person. Uh, we always are fighting the temptation to want to be recognized for our deeds. Uh, well, Jesus says, watch out. Do not do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. Jesus is warning us there that there is no righteous in doing the right thing for the wrong reason. Uh, so let's go back to verse 3. It says, but when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Uh, so what does that even mean? Uh, well, I think it's safe to say Jesus was speaking figuratively and not literally because when we are doing things with our hands, they're working in concert together. They're working in unity. So uh, they, they, they don't have a mind of their own. Uh, so technically, we will know what our other hand is doing. Uh, I think Jesus is talking about here that it comes down to the heart of our motives. Are we genuinely giving because we are generous and we see the needs in others? Or are we giving to, uh, are we giving to, uh, to uh, make known to the world uh, what we're doing to get praise and recognition uh, rather than God getting the glory? Uh, so let's go back to a little bit of a piece of verse 3. It says, but when you give... Uh, not if you give, but when. So giving should be an act of service we're co consistently participating in uh, where it just becomes second nature. So at the deepest level, we have created a disconnect. So we're not even aware we have given. So, when, so we don't give into the temptation of patting ourselves on the back and uh, giving to praise and adulation of others. Uh, Jesus is concerned with the heart of the matter. I remember one time years ago, I was leading worship and after the gathering, uh, I was done putting my things away and the pastor came up to me and he said, uh, someone wants to give you this. And it was a hundred dollar bill. And uh, this gift couldn't have come in a more timely manner. Not only did the Lord give this person a word of knowledge that I was in need, but they wanted to remain anonymous in their giving. Uh, I didn't even know this person, so I couldn't thank them, but it was one of the most powerful displays of generosity I've ever experienced. And, and to me, uh, this, that was a perfect example of what this verse is talking about. Uh, so wrapping up here, let's talk about the privacy of giving. Because in Jesus' day, giving was done in the, some of the most public places uh, where there was a lot of foot traffic. Even today, our giving can't and won't always be private, but the privacy can always reside in our heart when our motives are not to be seen and praised. Because I don't know about you, but when I would rather have the eternal reward from my Heavenly Father in private over the temporary worldly reward in public. 
I hope this message blesses you. Let's give generously and let the motive of our heart for giving be in unity with the way Jesus wants us to give. God bless you. Have a great day.